Hey there, good afternoon, and welcome here to Prog Monster. My name is Murph. I am the host of this show, a show dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. So we're here tonight to do Monday night's look back at a classic rock album. The one I've chosen for this week is this one, Judas Priest Stained Class. Currently been on my playlist for about five months, doing well. I like this a lot. I don't know if I like it as much as Screaming for Vengeance and Defenders of the Faith, but it's definitely in that mix for sure. So this album was released February the 10th, 1978, recorded at Chipping Norton in Oxfordshire and, Uto and, and Utopia in London. It's about 43, 44 minutes long, which is fairly lengthy for that time period, um, but uh, it goes by quick. I, I like this a lot. Uh, labels on Columbia, produced by Dennis McKay, James Guthrie, and the other members of Judas Priest. Um, personnel for the album, or the members of Judas Priest, Les Banks on the drums, K.K. Downing on guitars, Rob Halford on vocals, Ian Hill on bass, and Glenn Tipton on guitars as well. Now, this is a re-release which I think this is a remastered, yeah. So you have a couple of bonus tracks on here as well as the originals. Um, Fire Burns Below, um, which is on, is one of the bonus tracks. You have Dave Holland playing drums on that. And then Better, Better By You, Better By Me, which is live. And in this case, that is Scott Travis playing the drums on that. So those are the two outliers. So this is a excellent album. There's a nice shot of the boys there. You can see them. Yeah, so young looking, eh? Look at Holford. He looks too respectable for this group. <laughs> this is this is prior to that real metal stuff that came out a little bit later, but absolutely killer album. So many good tracks on here. Some of Judas Priest's best music is on this album. Uh, many people feel that the live um, Unleashed in the East versions of some of these songs is better. I'm not disputing that, but th these are still killer tracks. Starts out with Exciter, absolutely killer. Heavy guitar, beefy guitar, uh, speedy guitar, all those things at play here. White Heat, Red Hot, another really strong song. Better By You, Better, by, better Than Me. Um, this may be the best track on the album. Uh, definitely killer. The live version is even better here. And then just absolutely ripping. I think that um, Rob Halford, uh, very strong vocals on this album. Stained Class, another good song on here. Invader. Yeah, absolutely killer. Um, Saints in Hell, another really heavy song. Savage, great tune. Uh, Beyond the Realms of Death, this is a killer track, absolutely. And Hero's End, which is a pretty strong tune as well. Overall, this is a very catchy album with lots of riff, great rifting on here. Some great guitar solos as well. It's a beefy album. Um, I think this is one of Holford's better vocal performances as well. Absolutely nailing it. The guy has an incredible voice. Sorry, at the back end there. Um, I love the album cover. I think it's almost almost Terminator-like in some ways. Um, definitely a little bit futuristic, but common in the 70s, that um, age of androids. This looks almost like it was released for the Terminator movie. Yeah, this is a killer album. Beefy, catchy, um, heavy, um, lots of hooks on the guitars. Um, vocals are fantastic, um, and the songs are very memorable, all of them. Absolutely killer album. I love this a lot. It's It's been on the playlist for about five months now, and it's been as high as the top five for a bit. I think it got, I don't know, without looking at the playlist, I think it did get as high as second or third. Um, lots of stiff competition on my playlist right now, because this album, any other time, would probably be like my favorite album but with Chaos and Color and now the Black Sabbath 13 which I both loved both of those albums 
was going to have a hard time getting in there. But the metal elements are being served up well here on the on my playlist, and this album is definitely um, another classic for Priest. I have lots of Priest that I still have to explore. Um, this is a band that's probably in my top 15 now. I think I even like them more than Iron Maiden. I wouldn't have said that four or five years ago for sure. I didn't think that would ever happen, but I've, I've fallen in love with this band all over again, and just fantastic album. Lots of great stuff here. So if you're looking for a good entry to Judas Priest, I would suggest this one would be pretty good. There are some others. You can enter it at just about any point early on and find some really good stuff. But this one's, uh, to me, one of the best entry points. So there you go. Judas Priest, Stained Class from 1978. If you like this, please hit the like. Please hit the subscribe. That's much appreciated. Any comments that you want to make about the album, uh, maybe your favorite parts or maybe something on there that I didn't mention that you want to mention, put that in the comments section below. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And we will be back next Monday for another look back at a classic rock album. So from Prog Monster and me, goodbye and have a good night. Take care.